Okay, hey guys, um, I'm gonna be here giving you the tutorial that you guys wanted from my new snap. And we're basically gonna start everything from scratch, so if I forget something, like I'll stop and, you know. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our vector settings and everything like we use so <sighs> we're gonna take the width 1280 height 7 point I'd say we're gonna have PNG uh, alpha channel effects and the intel region and global illumination make sure you click on global illumination go into the radiance stitch take the stochastic samples well, and the rugged pencil it make it well. This just speeds up rendering, uh, but by the way. Okay, so now, uh, we're gonna take and make some textures. We're basically making three, so don't worry. So, So double click on the material and we're going to make this a nice dark gray, like an offset block. Um, keep it around like 19, 20 ish uh, to give it that nice um, like gray look. It'll look sort of black, but that's okay. Uh, so you're going to want to right click this sphere right here. Okay. And you're going to want to go down to find double tortoise soft shadow. Okay. And this is how people make like all these different like things. Uh, like material works. So now we're going to click diffusion. And we're going to uh, 97 ish. And then we're going to hit up to 8. So, 8. And then reflection. And we're making it a high reflection, so it's going to be like 44 ish. Uh, then specular color. We're bringing it all down to 99. Or 8, whatever. Yeah. So now we got our black. Ball, like the balls that are here. So make sure you on color and then make a purple. So we do something simple like this. And we're not going to do much with it. Basically, do everything the same. So. Except for the reflection, the reflection you want to lower it down to about 14. And the specular color you can see. Okay. And the next one it'll be wings. Um, we're just going to click the luminance and then exit out of that. And then we'll click on light. So now we're on to taking our text. There can be several ways you want to go about this. Um, I normally just click Mograph and the text. And then it loads fairly quickly. And you can make it whatever. And so I'm just going to put like that one. I like going for the like, old fonts that I've been used to use. They were so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Um, okay. uh, make it about a uh, depth of 100, whatever you use. So. And 
moment I do like it. So I'd say for this one, absolutely be okay. Um, mess around with the horizontal spacing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this black and put it on that. Okay, so now we're going to this black. And, uh, yeah. So now we're going to need to take, uh, I'm going into the caps and making a break for the cap. And I'm going to put the one just so it gets a nice little edge below. Like, it's barely noticeable, but it's there. So now we're going to mess with lighting. Lighting, uh, we always want like a light room. You can use other people's light room, but we're going to make our own for this. We're going to hold this and then go to the area of the light. Bring it to about the center. Turn it out like don't like this too much. Yeah, that, that seems a bit. Try to look to where you think you are. So now we can go on to the good disc. Center it and I'm going to raise it above to where we can't see it. And then this light texture on top. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put microphone effect in the middle. And we're going to want to put these two together. So no clip. Random and then click point. And then it looks all like abstract. That's why you go on top of it and you want it to be And then go to the effect of and go the strength to like 30. And it just gives it that nice little look. I really hear that. You can see right here how it has like those lines. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to use one clear in line. And then you're going to want to uh, click the small text that's in the random uh, plugins. Uh, you will need. Uh, naturalized and glossy. So it's glossy. And I think that's what we need to talk about. I usually go to the next one. Should be twice. So now once that's broken, uh, these pieces will come out of they will come out of the group. So you want to take the pieces, put them back under the rainbow. Now what you notice is cracks being broken in the text. And uh, what I do is I take these cutouts that the cutout material that they make in the room, so it's like a little bit better. So the amount of team. Okay. Now what we do is we do quite a couple things. First of all, put this mocap that's up here along into a group and call it the dolls. <laughs> that's my fun to uh, What you're gonna want to do is now don't get on that any like we're gonna use an atom. And then 
it will go that one there's no text like so and click on the auto array and make the cylinder AC which radius 0 0.01 so they're very really noticeable and the speed radius I'll set it down like let's make it big for that now no, we don't want to call it 10 meters. Yeah, 10 meters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and we're going to want to increase the subdivisions because that makes it more round, so like 25. Some of you guys might be like, ooh, this looks pretty cool. I'm done. No. We don't want to put a random. So another mobile has to take care of the random. And we want to put it over the atom array. And then put it back to point. Now, we want to put it in the atom array. We want to put it in the atom array. So you want to put it under the motex, like as the subdivision of the motex, and you want to put the point, and maybe bring the fall off down. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, I don't know, bring it down. Let's say 11, maybe. Take the atom away and we add a natural bond. So, natural bond bond go over the and we're going to want to add a bond explosion. Put it over and add strength. That's basically where we'll get. It looks okay, but you want it less than one. The explosion strength, maybe like a point five. So let's be done with this. Thank you. 
You see that. There we go. And my son. Actually, we never put the book along in the cabinet. Just uh, some family problems. Um, before I import the image, uh, I'm just gonna get a nice offset black. Alright. And I like to use Ethan's. Uh, from his exclusive pack, uh, his color correction. Uh, okay. 
So, now what you want to do for you do well, yeah, just add in your image. I changed what I was doing. I originally, you saw the 500, I changed it. Totally changed it. I just didn't like the way it looked. So, I'll just add that in there. Uh, so this is uh, Johnny F. I was doing something for him. And it's nothing special, just project with my style and stuff. So you wanna rasterize the layer. And you want CS6 for this because I believe CS5 does not have this. So if you have CS5, uh I don't know, you want to try to look up how to add oil paint to your CS5, but that's what we'll be using, so filter, oil paint, and if it's not there, you have to go to your oil paint gallery, so let me just go, whoops, Okay, so now you have, okay, normally it's supposed to be like 5, but you know, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the stylization, put it around 8-ish, and the cleanliness up to 7, and then move it down a little bit, that looks good, and then the scale, mess around with that, keep it low though. Okay, bristle detail. Okay. Seven point fifteen is okay. Uh, the angular direction, put it to around three hundred. I mean, it just depends what you want really. Doesn't change much. Uh, the shine you want like 0 0.8 because if you have higher than that, uh, yeah. So, uh, click OK. It should update. Okay. Now, within this color correction, like that, you'll find Ethan Shiz. <laughs> it's like a gray a grade version of the image and I use that in this BG that I made right. just to give it that little look okay and then you have blue right here and then purple and then red and then orange and I'll show you all those so blue you can see it's super dark all of them will be trust me but we'll fix that. So, what you want to do is you want to click the Johnny F and hold Control or Command and then click the picture and it should outline uh, the image or text. Or, yeah. And then you want to click the selection tool and then right click and click fill. You're gonna want to choose color and then like a gray. So, yeah. You could have my exact, but you don't need to. It's really no big deal. It's as long as it's gray. And that's. Oh, one. I forgot one step. Make a new layer and then click the fill. Okay. Now, deselect and make sure you're on the new layer and put it to overlay you'll notice that nothing has changed except the brightness the brightness was raised okay so now on layer 2 you're going to want to go on some uh, you're going to want to go on this bar right here and click the dodge tool and what this does is it brightens objects and I'll prove that to you right now so I'll just click blue. No, let's not click blue. Let's click orange. Yeah. Now, 
once you start clicking, you'll notice it gets brighter. So, and you can just go along the balls. Okay. And then, once you got something like you like, but you feel that, oh no, I accidentally I accidentally brightened this. How do I get rid of it? And I didn't notice it and I brightened a bunch of other stuff. How do I get rid of it? Well, you're going to want to click and hold and go to burn. This makes things darker. So it basically reverses what you've done. Now, for some things, you're going to want to brighten. Uh, okay, so uh, once you got something you like, you might want to like brighten up some of the letters, numbers, whatever you have, and so it can be seen. I mean, obviously, you want to want to see it. And uh, once you got what you like, you basically just uh, control click both of them, right click, convert to a smart object. Right click again, right straight away. And now, if you want to move it up to like a background or something, you would click this. First, click the one that you want to move it to, then click, then click this, and then click and hold, and then drag it out and move it to right about here. Okay. Now you click and drag. And then do the same thing for the color correction so I already have it right here, but so see? So it looks pretty cool. Um oops. Uh, <laughs> I keep showing you guys the projects that you're not supposed to see. Even though most of them are finished. Um, so, now I just sort of want to talk about uh, how I got 500 subs, and I got so excited when I hit, you know, like, I was so close to 500, I was like, 495, I'm like, oh god, I want to hit 500 so soon, and I want to put a video out, and I want to, like, give you guys either a chance to be a part of a contest or to be a part of uh, a graphics pack that I will be giving you guys which I'm still thinking about it I don't know what to do and so what I was thinking was sort of have you guys decide now I'm probably not gonna do like an IRL video but I can do a GFX pack and I can do a contest with no money <laughs> so basically you guys will be branded onto my channel for about two three months um, and you will be branded you will if it's a contest you will be uh, accepted into year which is a plan I am in uh, which I made this for this for so you will be accepted into that and possibly my GFX team that I want to be starting which I really want you guys to like, subscribe to we're going to be putting out videos as soon as possible um, so if you're looking uh, 
be a part of my 500 subs special, which should be coming out soon. It just depends on how fast you guys reply to everything. Like, what do you guys want me to do? I'm probably gonna go with the contest though. But just give me a, like, ask, ask me questions of what I plan on doing in the future and everything. And I want to tell you guys that I'm so close to 15,000 video views, and I really want to hit it, like, as soon as possible, so I can have, like, a 500 sub and 15k video view uh, video. Uh, so, yes, this is the first time you've heard my voice, most of you, um, I'm 13 years old. You, my voice goes high sometimes, like when I get inside it, but I'm not a squeaker. I, this is how I normally talk. I'm, I have a decently low voice. Um, so yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, Vega 5, I'm out.